Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and today I'm checking out Inotria, The Last Song. Uh, this is a demo currently available on the Steam Next Fest. I've uh, seen someone playing this a bit, uh, maybe about a month ago. This appears to be Italian Dark Souls. Is, is everyone's interpretation of what they see. And it should be obvious why. Tree of change. You got the earth tree here. Awaken, maskless one. The stage is set. Got a stage play. Let's go. Nice. I'm like a little puppet man. One of those uh, posable figures. That's pretty cool. That's a good concept. A little slow on the swing. That's a nice stab. I like that. Follow up slash. That's just uh, this is just the long sword move set. This person, these people played Dark Souls, and they're like, "We like the long sword." Kabam! Okay, we've killed some more puppets. You're not gonna attack. Oh, I see. I was, I was, I was getting too, too hasty with it. Oh, it's just telling me to dodge. I didn't have to actually dodge their attacks. The dodge feels a bit weird. I guess it is good. Like, you do go a certain amount. When, as it, I suppose when you're locked on, it, it turns into a bit of a sidestep, though. Hmm. I guess that's similar to Bloodborne, in fact. Haven't really thought about that. I haven't played Bloodborne in a, in a hot minute. Playing Elden Ring instead. Okay. Well timed parry. Get out of here, skedaddle. It's like when you parry in Dark Souls 1 with the, with the glove. Makes you look like a... A bamf. The Masisk one can weaken the Cavanaccio's grip on all manner of things. Fighting hostile beings cause them to build up their unraveling meter. When filled, they will temporarily... Exp they will be temporarily exposed to a finishing strike. Okay, so they got a stagger meter, but it's called the unraveling meter. I'm trying to parry this guy again. I do see there's another man, but it does seem like. It does seem like they're going a little easy on me. I mean, like, look at that. He was just dance. He's literally just dancing. I shouldn't attack a man with super armor. Of course that move had super armor on it. When the Maskless One finishes off an unraveled enemy, they briefly enter the Awakened State. While awakened, the Maskless One gains a variety of positive effect that depend on the mask which they are currently wearing. Okay. Can I backstab? No. It's, it's, they really want you to do it from the front, but it doesn't actually matter because it let me do it from the back anyway. That was neat. So now I'm like stronger. Checking out what's going on in the distance. Continue onwards. Through the tree, the roots of the tree of awakening, I suppose. Got some fun little uh, stage play props of a uh, renaissance or yeah, I guess this would be renaissance era. Italy. Oh, I was definitely not looking at their uh, their blue meter there. I gotta say, it feels pretty nice, but it also feels... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's probably a, a purposeful choice. Use the Ar Armonia Amber to restore health. It's triangle. Um, They really made you do it. It feels faster, so therefore a bit more loose. And that, that door animation, door opening animation was not the the nicest animation I've seen. Alright. What we got going on here? Two swing combo. Easy. What else you got? The same combo, eh? I'll poke ya. I did not poke him. What about this? Just a big slam. He goes for the Double Ichimanji into third hit. 
Okay, so there's no charge on the R2. It's just a, a real long animation. I thought he was going for a swing again. Missed some damage opportunity. Double, double Ichimanji? No. Double Ichimanji. Nope. Just the two-hit combo. The run forward two-hit combo. That's the big slam. That's the two swing. This, this man better have a phase two. Like, I let myself get hit there. That's, that's, that's how I'm feeling with this guy right now. I've been playing Elden Ring. Okay, okay, he phased it. He maybe phased. Is he phasing? Oh, he phased. Remember, triangle is your heels, but we don't need it. Show me else. What you, what you, what you got? Triple Ichimanji. I somehow got behind him. Ichimanji would be a, a Sekiro reference. I'm pretty certain it's Ichimanji because I use that attack a lot. <laughs> Whoa! Not not sure what happened there. I got ahead. Of, I got so far behind him. I got ahead of him. It was that was a thing. I did heal. Foe vanquish. Inspiration acquired. The mask of change. So you get masks from bosses. The stage great sword. Ooh, they're even giving you a new weapon. Ain't that nice? I don't like that. I have to hold A to to go through with that. Oh, so they legit just... What role? Ooh, you could put on put on a mask and change your role? The mask one has three loadouts at their disposal, in which all kinds of weapons and equipment... Oh, sorry. Equipment can be set at a resting spot while exploring only weapons, gem, and consumables can be changed. Changing the active loadout can be done at any moment. Double pressing the swap input allows you to quickly select the loadout that is quick currently farthest. Oh. So you just double tap and you go to the other one if you want. And it changes your armor too. Cool. I'm, I'm doing it wrong. So okay. I want to double tap now. No, it didn't work. Whatever. It's pretty quick. You could theoretically do that, you know, even almost mid-combo. Almost mid-combo. Oh. I'm getting a little framey, but it is a demo, and it's probably loading a whole new area right here. The R door burst. Hold left trigger, press right bumper. What the heck? I noticed the, the top left icon kind of flashes a bit. I almost stepped on that. The Juniper Sword. Is that going to get equipped too? Unpolished gem, the ancient raw gem with unexpressed power, minimally absorbs all kinds of damage. Though still dull and soiled, it exudes an aura of power. The veiled greatsword requires some alacrity and erudition. An ancient sword surrounded by many stories regarding its origins. The most reliable claim is that it fell from the sky. It was first found in the dead center of a large crater where the most powerful city of the continent once proudly stood. Why do I already have a veiled greatsword? Let's switch out the to the juniper longsword. What's the difference? R door damage, unraveling damage. So you, if you unravel, this sword's better. Weird. An ancient long, long sword forged with materials that aren't native to this continent is told that the hilt was carved from the ancient junipers from the lost lands of Genistra, where folk folklore reigns uncontested. I mean, we'll switch it out, even though we will like be doing less damage. Unquestionably. I know I'm spending a lot of time in the inventory. I'm just curious what's going on here. So this is, you can return to your last visited reality knot, a piece of broken mandolin supposedly dear to Pulsinella, 
its strings are still capable of producing a faint tune. Cool. I guess we'll go down the elevator now, or up. We'll go up the elevator now. Apologies for me reading all those items, but if you've seen my Elden Ring play, you know that I love to absorb world lore, and therefore take time doing that. I tried to pick that up, thinking it was Elden Ring, and I drank a potion. That's going to confuse me. Oh, you just automatically pick stuff up. Invigorating minestrone! Really? A thick soup with an invigorating flavor, capable of clearing the effects of Dizzy and its buildup. Make no mistake, this is guaranteed to wake up even the numbest fellow. Some cobblestone, quite simply, a piece of rock can be tossed an enemy to deal minor damage to their attention. I recognize this is part of the wall of my house, youngsters, these days. Neat. How do I... There we go. Um... Path of Innovators. What the heck? Inspiration gained by finding new entries in the companion can be spent in the Path of Innovators to unlock powerful perks that can be slotted in any mask. What the heck? I do have six points. What the heck? You get infused with Milano. <laughs> I'm digging the vibe. This is this is wild. Path of Trickery. Your status power and damage dealt by finishing, finishing attacks are increased. Path of Assassination. That This seems very good. Upon dealing damage. So any hit you do, you get Stam regen back? That's crazy. <laughs> Layer of Thorns. Poise Stride. When your health is above a certain... Oh, you physical defense. Okay, I thought that might have been armor. Mask lines charge up slower, but deal more damage. I don't even know what that means. Mask. So I guess these are spellcasting stuff. Path of spellcasting. Fatual path. Vis path. Gratia and Milano. Okay, so this one, this one's just good. Like there's, there's nothing bad about it. Equip mask perks in the loadout menu. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, don't press down on the D-pad. <laughs> At least right now. Okay, so that's how you switch your, your menu options. Duelist Virtue. Oh, they're really just giving me a bunch of stuff here. Duelist Virtue. Step backward and immediately follow up with an attack using the other equipped weapon or the same weapon if only one is equipped. Charging speed is presto. The most skilled duelists master more than one fighting style to maintain the advantage in the widest possible array of situations. Does charging speed presto just mean fast? Summon an Ardor sword imbued with the power of Vis and perform a powerful heavy attack with the drunken sword. We shall sing till morning comes or till our mugs are empty. Whichever comes first. I don't know why these gray spots have nothing. Like, what I mean, by nothing, I mean they have like a, a notification icon. Mass slides are powerful Ardor abilities. In order to use them, the massless one needs to land attacks on their enemies, which gradually charges them up. Okay. They are explaining a lot. But it is, that's, that's how tutorials work, usually. These headless ones are... Actually aggressive. I'm getting sloppy with it. Getting sloppy with it, but it's because we're in tutorial town. Oh, then you just switch. You just switch your weapon with that. I didn't quite realize. Okay, so this is like, um, this is a cool system here in the bottom right there. Uh, it reminds me of like <laughs> some Dynasty Warrior games, among others. Um,. Where your specials would be on uh, just a cooldown or or charge bar. I guess that was the sound of that that dude despawning. The primal elements. Oh my gosh! In the world of Anotria, there are four primal elements: Viz and Flex, Dizzy, which increases damage dealt as well as stamina regeneration, at the cost of lowered defenses. Okay, so Dizzy might mean, might actually be drunk. 
Because that seems like... That seems like a thing that you put on yourself to increase your damage and your stam regen, but then you're you're swinging more wildly, so your defense is lower. Tatuo. I don't know why that one is... is uh, I guess because that's the important one. That's the one that wants you to, to know what Dizzy is. Tatuo inflicts Wicked, increasing one's own elemental power. However, suffering damage causes the attackers to heal themselves. Weird. Weird, but okay. Milano infects thickness causing one to suffer damage over time and to spread its effects to nearby entities and gratia inflicts radiant causing one to recover health over time however being damaged while afflicted triggers a powerful explosion is that i'm assuming that's bad <laughs> causing one to suffer damage over time spread its effects so, okay milano is just bad so you don't want to be sick radiant can heal you but also turns you into a bomb I'm, a, I'm dizzy now. They want you to know what dizzy is. That's why they just, just told you about that. So my damage is up. But I also take more damage. Yeah, they even have like the little dizzy thing. Like, that's cute. They definitely wanted it to be drunk. But they know if they called it drunk, then they would have to increase. I just got a lot of crap. I just got a lot of crap. What? Why am I already holding the stage ultra great sword? I guess because they want you to know what the movesets are. They're still going with the stuff they gave me. I'm, I'm not kidding. Okay, well. Oh, did they just... Oh, I was going to say, they really did just give make you change your moveset. Heart and Stone, a shining gem as refined as the purest steel, giving excellent physical damage and negation. Even the mightiest blow crashes against a stubborn spirit. You can choose what gem you want. A gem soaked in tears of the dueling mages who test its anti-magical melee abilities. There is no shortcut to gaining power while pursuing the might of the elements. Only hard training makes you invin invincible. This this doesn't tell me anything. A gem soaked in the tears of dueling mages who test its anti-magical ability. Anti-magical melee abilities. What does that mean? That's that's lore. Not not like actually in game text that I need to tell me what what's going on there. <laughs> These other ones like it's a bit of lore and and you know useful information, giving excellent physical melee defense negation. Like I guess you know that is more straightforward than anti magical melee abilities. Get a little bit of a frame drop as we step out here. Inspiration acquired in author's notes. What does that mean? Aspect of the bruiser. This is because of my, my role here. Become the curtain call. Also, I see what's going on here. It's it okay. So my third, my third uh, role here is now a caster type. Uh, this is this is still kind of confusing. These uh, these menus here. It's just because there's so much aspect of the elementalist. You get more attunement minus alacrity though. Untangle not. Corda Resonante? What did, what did that say? This man's out here risen. Risen them up. Okay, what is going on? What? What? What's going on? Okay, I see. I don't know why it auto equips so much. 
but not those. And now I have to go through and do it on the other ones too. Like I know I don't want to be path of spell casting over here. Okay, so this one's actually has a bit of a downside. So maybe you don't want that. There are six here. What am I missing? Path of assassination? No. <laughs> Poise stride, no. Path of trickery, no. Preparedness, no. Oh, gratia path. Upon casting the mass line equipped in slot one, your weapon is briefly infused with gratia. I mean, that, yeah, there's no downside there. I don't... I guess because this is probably a spell, right? Summon vermig vermiglios, scepter, and conjure a multitude of fetual orbs that randomly chase enemies. Charging speed is allegro instead of presto. And then Wrathful Charge has a charging speed of Andante. Inebriation leads one to the mo not to one to not properly weigh the consequence of certain actions. Summons an Ardor Shield imbued with the powers of Viz. Start charging forward, damaging enemies, knocking them back. There's a lot. Okay, so it gave me some stuff. Now I can actually choose things. Killing an enemy slightly charges all up all your mask lines. If you're astute gambler's heart, killing an enemy increases your luck for a while. Tis but a scratch. You receive less damage from ranged attacks. Suffering melee damage causes the attacker to sustain damage. Path of Destructions. Probably maybe don't want Path of Destruction at the moment. Cast any mass line heals you. Upon dodging an attack, your mass line charge up more efficiently. Don't really... I see what's going on with these, and I understand that's neat because you can infuse your weapon depending on what slot you cast. Overestimation. I feel like that's you don't even need this. Dealing a finishing attack to minor enemies instantly kills them. After dealing a finishing attack to an enemy, your stamina consumption is briefly reduced. Well, we're definitely getting astute. What is this? Dodging an enemy. An attack briefly increases your physical status and elemental power by a small amount. Let's just do... Tis but a scratch. Okay. I can level up a little. Erudition is like spell casting. Alacrity is stam, luck, and carry capacity. Carry capacity? What the? Attunement is also like spellcasty stuff. Cunning is stamina and attack power. And fortitude is attack power and health and defense. I mean... Okay, so this is way more attack power. Can level up twice uh let's level up hp i was gonna say we're probably not gonna need to level up hp but at the same time because it's a new thing might be wise where did we come from i have no idea it was back here right yeah that's where the open chest is it's that lighting effect is weird can you go up here you can't jump oh you can jump in this game you can jump and then they show you a path like this and you can't get up there? Shake my head. Can you get on here? You can. And obviously this is the way to go. Got a bunch of sunflowers. Feel the beginnings. Quinta. I wonder if Quinta is like the province or whatever. I'm guessing they don't want you in the sunflower field. <laughs> That's funny. The people are gathering, perhaps? <laughs> Some of the pathing's pretty funny. Oh, they're patrolling. They're not... Well, drat. You die fast, please. I got hit. Wait. 
Oh, they're canceling my my change. Oh yeah, I forgot this changed. I'm I'm out here almost dying immediately. Jeez, I'm just trying to dodge. Inspiration acquired. Killed one townsperson. Oh man. This man's aggressive. Be aggressive. B E aggressive. Okay. What's my other weapon? Oh yes, the ultra great sword. Jeez. That's a slow animation. Oh my god, I barely hit him. Okay. Really? I don't have... They don't give you armor on your R1? The, the animations are simultaneously fast and loose, except for your attack animations are so slow compared to regular Souls games. I definitely should have used those weapons before I battle tested them, but it's because I kind of threw myself in there. Jeez, like I kind of expected it, but... Definitely should take the opportunity to get those animations. And a festate fragment and inebriating seasoning. So wait, if they're actually acknowledging some inebriation... Then it is dizzy. I guess they just don't want to call it drunk though, because that actually changes things. You, something can be inebriating without causing you to get drunk. Because there's like the the metaphorical sense of inebriation. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't to some people. A scent of fermented spices inflicts dizzy upon use. Traditional seasoning from the city of Quinta. All the wine all that wine spilled in the fields bore rather odd fruits. Like, they're referencing wine, but they're not referencing drinking. I wonder if that is what the case is. And if so, I, for one, applaud the, de the developers for trying to... You know. You know. You know? Man, this commentary is already turning... Shard of a miserable memory. This commentary is already turning into my Elden Ring Let's Play, where I just meander. You don't see me. What just happened there? I, like, Goomba stomped him. The longsword, now that I know what I'm doing, it's like the fastest attack, which is why... I... Actually, what it is... The sound of their, their corpse despawning is a little odd. Why, oh, I have to change my move set. Okay, so it's still slow on the second swing. I wonder about this one. Yeah, your second swing is so much faster than your first on every single weapon. A little less so for the mace, but this, even the Ultra Great Sword is, is huge on that. Like your first swing, of course, is very, very, very slow. But then that second swing follows up much faster, guaranteeing a combo. Did I not go down there? I guess, yeah, we didn't cross the bridge. Or rather, when we crossed the bridge, we went up immediately. I think he caused himself to stagger a little bit. I guess you have to be locked on to make that work. Miracle Pesto! Delicious! Shard of a miserable memory grants memorial on use. The faintest shard of a far off remembrance. Aw, cute. It's called Memoria. You gotta get some memories. A wondrous mixture that can clear any status effect. Smooth and rich in flavor. You know when you got that pesto, it cures me of everything. When I'm drunk, you just whip out that pesto. All of a sudden, I'm seen straight. Um. So, we came from over there. There's an item right here. I think they want us to go into town, which is that way. Which is why coming up here seems kind of scary 
because this man has a big axe and he's rather quick with his swing. The world looks nice, that's for sure. Grape cutter. It does make me feel like I should be able to go over there, but I don't see any items or anything, so I'm assuming you do not. What is this? A grape cutter. It's a great sword. What if this is just like my great sword spec? Um, meant to read about it. A curving cutting tool popular among the unrivaled vineyards of Quinta. So sturdy, so sturdy, were the tendrils of the grapevines that a common tool could not even hope to scratch them. Whoa! Almost fell off the edge, canceling out of the menu. See, this, this is an attack speed. I approve of this weapon. Shard of a miserable memory. The the memory of the the lumberjack, the toiler. Okay, I'm gonna be very, very quiet. What if I switch my weapon? Man, he he's furious. What if I switch my weapon? And then I go for a big ol' a big ol' strike right here. Right here. And then I switch my weapon again. Uh-oh. He's making me go dizzy. I ain't got no heals, so... Let's not screw this up. Cannot be trading. Is what I'm saying. Know what I'm saying? What you saying? Oh! That's, uh, gruesome a little bit. That's bad. I did armor through it, but like I said, we should not be trading. One, two. Morte, are you kidding me? I got so greedy. I'm having fun. I don't know if it's obvious, but this game is nice. It feels cool. Even though definitely different from Souls, it definitely feels closer to Bloodborne than any of the Souls games. Especially because there's no shield. Not that I use shields. Man, all these nerds are back. This was just an item, right? Yeah. So what we're going to do... Oh my god, I can't believe this. It's because I was fighting all these nerds and being sloppy about it. Still have uh, one more slot we could fill up. Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, they really don't. They you they want you to kill these fools. Okay, this is a bad start already. Also, I should be using my left trigger stuff because I ain't. Now that I have a weapon that I like, though. Although, I guess I didn't look at the stats. I just equipped it because it said Greatsword. Gardener Mask Shard. Oh, can you perhaps get a Gardener Mask if you kill enough of them? Pretty sure that's just the sound of them despawning. How do I compare... 59 physical damage. 89 physical damage. Why is this one so much weaker? Because it inflicts dizzy and elemental damage. Why would they have 5-7 as the requirements? Oh, because some... some... masks reduce your... your stats. I see what's going on here. I'm picking up what they're putting down. Still can't tell why you'd use this over others. Maybe against the boss? It does some elemental damage? Like, against a boss, I should say? I don't know. We're gonna go back to the other sword. The other great sword. Because this is actually just doing more damage. If I am correct in reading those numbers. It's a little hard to tell. Wait. 
We are definitely going back there. I jumped that man's first swing and then got full comboed by him because I'm bad. It's not that, okay. Yes, I'm being bad. <laughs> but it's because I'm so into my Elden Ring playthrough. Okay, so you don't have to even pick up any items, it seems. Um. Oh, I know what we've got to do here. But in my Elden Ring playthrough, I'm also using an Ultra Great Sword, and it means that I'm trading with everything because they barely hurt me and I kill them. You know what I mean? That's what's going on there. Weapon infusion. Weapons can be temporarily imbued with any of the primal elements, causing them to potentially deal more damage as well as inflicting their related effects. It's said that certain weapons are naturally imbued. So that's what we noticed with the wine, the grape cutter. Um, if we imbue it with dizzy, it'll do more dizzy damage, is my understanding of what's going on there. Also, I don't know what exactly happened there, but I did dodge that with a jump, which is funny. I tried to get around. I should have just jumped. I should have just jumped over the thing. Homing Crystal Soul Mask. Dang, dude. Maybe I should have used that earlier. Inspiration acquired. Kill the lumberjack. Okay, but like, what does that mean? Okay. I think inspiration is uh this like weird this thing, the path of innovators. I refuse. This man's giving me staged direction advice. That was bad. Should not have traded. There was uh, no reason to trade. Also, if you miss one swing, you don't get the combo in for the second. You should probably never go for that second. This man's been throwing things at me. I didn't even notice. That's how bad you are at it. You're the one who needs to portray your character better. Pretty, uh, brutal attacks for those. I guess all of those, uh, critical attacks are pretty brutal, usually. The Shoals of Quintia. Or Quinta. Quinta. Yeah, this is lovely. A nice little, uh, stroll through the Italian countryside. Go on a bit of a campaign, if you will. Did this didn't heal me or anything. Are those enemies still alive? They're not. I kind of want to do some infiltration and drop from above. I guess. Yeah, there's only the two enemies there. Let's go see what's up there. Before we sit down. Just because these enemies are still dead. I'm so used to Elden Ring holding the run button. Never running out while you're not in combat. I was right in my assumption that this enemy up here would be much more difficult than everything else we were encountering up to that point. Okay. Got a corpse here. An Anian gavel. Weird, but okay. It's technically considered a morning star, even though it's definitely not a morning star, but okay. Ancient hammer that dates back to the glorious Anian Empire. A one-of-a-kind treasure. A boon of the glory that once was, and that can never be again. It's got some gratia and radiant. Gratata! I like the idea of the mace. Oh, okay. I didn't... I'm glad that I didn't fall all the way. I keep spamming the the B button too much to get out of menus. Unfortunately, dropping down there does not seem wise. It seems like three enemies will attack me if I do that. So dropping down here... 
mayhaps would be a better idea. Wow, that was a real, real early pre-swing. You think I was going to run at you? Okay, he ran at me. I'm sorry for insulting you. Yo, this, is this guy like a red eyes? Why is he so aggressive? Was the other farmer this? I mean, he was pretty aggressive, come to think of it. I'm really hoping for you to do your three combo. What's going on here? At least if we die, we're right next to the the knot or whatever. I don't want to die. What is going on, man? Do your three swing. There we go. I missed. Okay. I can't run in like that. I was, I should not be alive. I'm trying to do Elden Ring stuff where like I'm running in to bait the attack and then run out and it doesn't work in this game. They have too much uh, range or attack or something. Do I dare? I could sit down to get all my HP back, but then this farmer will live. Do y'all think I can fight these two torchbearers without getting hit? The answer is unquestionably no. But we're going to try. Oh, so that other man was already walking toward us before that first one even saw us. Okay, well, that did not turn out. You don't need me to say that. Oh, oh I was going to say the farmer's still dead. He ain't, he ain't still dead. He never dead. Like, what is this? He's canceling his animation into his run. What is going on here? Also, I keep trying to run as opposed to dodge because the dodge doesn't feel real. Does that make sense? Because it's just a sidestep, it feels like I'm going to get hit. So I'm like... I don't even know what happened there. I guess because I perfectly dodged his attack, he got some, he got some stagger or whatever. He unraveled himself. And now I'm like glowing because I got my superpowers on. They really both just get aggroed at once, eh? I was gonna say if I just fought this guy without getting hit, I would have been would have been laughing. I don't even know what that does. The threat of Con Conovaccio it does some damage is, is the answer. Not a lot. This guy's not having a good day. Okay. That didn't turn out. I'm still messing with the ranges, clearly. I didn't even see that, like, I didn't even see a damage number. It just, that man just decided he was done. Uh, let's check out these new items. Aversa Vigor. Slightly boosts stamina regeneration upon use over a certain duration. Appears the piece of an ancient instrument or hymn of vigor. A frail whistle that somehow still produces sound greatly boosts stamina regen upon use. Used in ancient times by war generals to invigorate their armies. What else have we been getting? We've been getting some stuff. The piercing wit mask. Increases the damage dealt by ranged mask lines. Additionally, while you're awake and dealing a finishing blow to an enemy, charges up all mask lines. Today is a glorious day. Got a bunch of aspects. I don't really know what this... I mean, these are the stat things. Interesting. So these are the basics here, these first aspects. But then these are like rolls. Increases physical power by 15% if you're a trickster. Gardener Mask Shard. Quantity held 29 out of 100. Mask fragments that can one, that once belonged to the role of the gardener can be used to recreate it if there are enough gathered. So I guess if you get 100, then you can become a gardener. A festite fragment. Fragments of a festite used to upgrade weapons up to a certain point. In the old days, a festite was a necessary presence to every respectable forge as knights and nobles would settle for no less for their equipment. Lumberjack mask shower. We got 30 out of 200. This is really cool. I like this system a lot. Like they don't give you armor stuff. 
but you can take over their role if you kill enough of them and get lucky with their drops, I suppose. Shred of Canovaccio. Tattered paper fragments that were originally part of the Canovaccio can be used to strengthen mask lines. Though my magnum opus may miss some bits and pieces, it remains unfettered. Probably don't want to walk out too much further. What does the dot above my uh, memories mean in the top right? Perhaps it means you like can level up or something. Still don't really know what this does, but I guess it like blasts debris back. Or like it blew open the doorway when they explained what it did. Uh, we might as well sit for a moment. A moment, a brief moment of time. Um, speaking of a brief moment in time, I think we are going to continue this video because I'm having fun and I want to see another boss. So I hope you all are enjoying it. Uh, cause this is cool. And if you are, if you are enjoying it, maybe, maybe check it out yourself. Maybe. Or you can just, you know, just keep watching this. Someone's shooting stuff at me. Ow. Rude. I don't like these patrols. Why are there patrols of a commoner and a farmer? I need to deal with this guy because if I don't, I'm going to have a bad time. I was, was thinking to myself, there's no like commoner mask as far as I can tell. It didn't seem like it. That was bad, but okay. More mask shards. We got that torch. Look at that torch. Sizzling torch. It's a morning star. Simple torch where it may fail as a weapon fire more than makes up for it. Isn't Quinta wonderful? You know what? We do have the commoner mask. It's the very first one. Of course. Let's uh... Let's switch up this moveset. Why not? Go crazy with it. Ah, who cares? I just want to see the torch. This do be similar to the mace. Neat. You're still here, eh? You're still doing your thing? You know, you could you could just stop. I suppose that's the role you need to fill, though. Bam. I do think it's a unnecessarily long. Kill one piercing wit. We also got something else there. What was that? Was it a weapon? An old fork. A small pointy kitchen tool that, rather than hurting, can be tossed to draw attention. Farmers at Quinta would stock up large quantities of forks for celebrations and festivals. That's, that's such a weird statement. They made sure to get their forks. Can't can't have a party unless unless you have all the forks. I think I aggro too. No, I didn't. Hey, how you doing? You having a good time at this at this festival? A festival of, of fire? <laughs> I don't like how long that animation is because you're insensitive. Incentivized to do it all the time. Stop this. Now I'm drunk. You wouldn't like me when I'm drunk. Fine, I guess I'll heal. Yeah, drunken me up. I want to be drunk. I ain't scared. Rude. Man drinks me up. Doesn't even offer me dinner. He drinks me up. That's what I said. Guess I should heal again. These uh, flasks of ambrosia or whatever are uh, harmonious sap. What is that? Raw sap that allows the user to recover some health upon damaging an enemy for a brief duration. Gather from the roots of the tree a change that now spread throughout this continent. Really is Elden Ring. Um, is 
They, they don't really want, want us going up here, eh? I, I lied. They do. I wonder if you can upgrade your Armonia. What's going on over here? I'm still drunk. Sorry, I'm still dizzy. I've been dizzy this whole time. It's like you just you spin around in circles 10 times in a row. You're really you you're really out here, eh? You you and your your pal. Oh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, refresh my drunkenness. Oh, you didn't die. He he drunk me so hard I I staggered myself again. He's not even refilling my drunkenness. He is hurting me though. I did get, did get quite quite a bit hurt there. I am wasting a lot of flasks. Reality glyphs. By using Ardor bursts on certain glyphs in the ground, the massless one can alter the immediate surroundings for a limited duration, after which everything reverts to its original place. Weird, but okay. How long does it last? Hmm, this is bad. He can't get up here. A coastal harpoon. That attack was real good. This switch weapon attack seems like it could be good, but it's not really. I guess I can't change. Oh, I fell. I fell. Oh, this is a lumberjack, too. Dude. I'm trying to get out of here. I think what's going on with some of my dodges and y'all y'all can can say I'm you know just being bad and it's true I am being bad but I think I'm slightly holding the button when I dodge and it's causing me to run instead Lumberjack's axe. The warrior's brew. Like, hearing some weird noises. I'm assuming it was just the man despawning. What's going on with this axe? Oh, you can compare. Uh, a sturdy axe used for cutting large trees as well as defending against the dangers of a forest. Nature's fair, good and evil are foreign. Good and evil are foreign notions to the woods. Cool. Um, I don't want to compare the requirements. I want to compare. Yeah, right, there we go. Compare the damage. I see. That's some interesting information. I'm going back to the stage. Great sword. Ooh, okay. Gotta stop. Get all the way back over here. What if I just, uh, I don't know, do this one? That seemed pretty good. It seemed like it, it did stuff. Litumnium grenade. What is a litumnium grenade? Explosive concoction that can be tossed at enemies causing a small explosion upon contact. Made with remarkable craftsmanship, the outer glass layer is surprisingly resistant.
cool. Love to open chests. A funereal slash. This this word popped up again. I got I didn't I forgot to uh look it up. I think it was probably Elden Ring last time. I saw that word. Oh, you can even climb the ladder. That's cute. Except you can't. You can't actually climb the ladder. Okay. We're doing stuff. Kind of. We did waste all of our flasks. And we... Did not go the right way. Oh, it's a farmer. It's a farmer. Why is it always a farmer? This man's a lumberjack. That's even worse. Should have perhaps used this Armonious sap to see if I could heal. Dang it. And he went for the third swing. Of course he did. I got morded. Dang it, Morty. That was a fast. There's not even a load screen there. They're just like, now nah, you're back. Get good. Yo, they reacted so fast. Get out of here with that. Oh, I really hate that, man. These farmers are doing attack cancels. I can't even... Maybe I don't like this game. Maybe it's bad. I'm just kidding. I'm just a little salty. Hey, you know what? We could have leveled and we didn't. That's another thing we, we should have done. I swear, the... the so, that farmer has a, has a double stab and a triple stab with his... His pike, right? His his big fork. Not his old fork. His pitchfork. But he can also just do the two stabs and then cancel into something else, it feels like. Dang it. So you do give them blue bar if you dodge at the, the right time. Yeah, yeah, I know you're here too. I didn't even get the chest over there. Shake my dang head. There's a chest right here I didn't even get. I also don't quite know the range of the my attacks yet. I'm just kind of going with it. It feels like it's a little bit more than I think it is, but not that much more. Because you do you do a step forward on your your first R1. Golden dart. I guess we could have changed those to. At least we died on the the path, I'm assuming. Or a path, I guess. I kind of assume left is the way to go. And this is probably just some loot. That man shot me out of the air. I'm glad this lumberjack didn't hear a dang thing about his friend getting murdered. This is what I should have done in the first place. Warriors brew. We be brewing. 
There's already a lot of items. Too many items, maybe. A battle tonic increases physical damage over a short duration and fortifies the body to better withstand the harsh blows from iron and steel alike. So there's a shrine over there. Perhaps that is not the way. Perhaps this is the way to go. You can see the Quinta countryside. Reality rifts. Opening a rift causes change in the environment for as long as you remain within its boundaries. Oh, oh, oh. wait a minute. What? We got a blue item. We've never seen blue items before. Inspiration acquired. Videta. There's a whole... Okay, maybe not a hole, but there is a there's a beach down there. Looks like we maybe approach from over there. I have a feeling what this is gonna do is I'm gonna hit this A button and it's gonna take a bridge or make a bridge all the way to the town. Oh, I do have to go up to it. Cute. Uh, we're not going that way, though. Oh, they really are making us... Oh, okay. No, they're not. I thought they... that was like a, a wall. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, I think what's going to happen here... I'm going to explore this for sure. It, it seems like he's attack canceling, but he's not. Like, this would be the moment where he would. But it's just because that one, like, step forward slash that he that they do is way too fast of an animation, it feels like. This one. Like, you see how much slower the other animation is compared to that? It's kind of wild. They do be got... They, they got them tracking skills, though. They will turn around. They don't want you backstabbing in this game. Perhaps they find backstabbing cowardly. Rude. Man, th this man's life was over the moment I set, like, <laughs> within his face. What was he gonna do? An Armonia expansion. That's a good item, I'm assuming. And that really was it, eh? I mean, that is a good item, for sure. I'm assuming, because I'm assuming it increases the number of flasks you have, or perhaps how strong they are. I, I would prefer if it changed how strong they are, because it feels like it really isn't healing that much. It's probably because I'm just using this, uh... This fighter mask, which gives you more HP. So it feels like it's not healing as much as it should. Have a look down at the beach once more. Definitely some items below. You can see there's a path though that you can walk across. It does make me feel like I missed stuff back there, but I'm assuming it is just like you work your way back there eventually. I am not going back once more. I'm gonna go a bit more forward. I wanna see a boss, but this video is getting long. So, perhaps that's not in the cards, the lower calm is a quinta. Because I think this is about, to quinta. well I shouldn't say about. What's left of it. Let's talk to this man. Pulcinella. Ah, I hear the churning of gears inside that expressionless noggin of yours. Who, what, where, when, why? Some fun music. Hush, hush, my promising prodigy. Head for the castle atop the hill, and all will be with you. Neat. I'm assuming this gate cannot be opened from this way. This is a shortcut. 
cool. What about this room? I'm gonna be every single boarded up doorway. I'm gonna be pressing this dang button because I don't know what it does. I guess it tells you when to use it, kind of, but... Um... This actually might be the end of the video. I'm tempted to play more, I'm not gonna lie. Corda Resonante. We found a, a resonant chord. Feel the beginnings, you can fast travel. Level up. What if we just like do this, go crazy with it, in fact. I do want to play more. I recognize how long this video is though. And especially for a let's check out video. It seems like I maybe should uh call it a call it a thing. Oh, I need more more souls to upgrade my weapon. Let's see what this blue item is. Oh, it's it's inspiration. It's cool, and they're like giving you little bits of lore, I guess, with the inspiration as well. I just want to check out this cord once again. Um, because I want to check out this path again. We do got like 36. How? So it's not that big of a... It's not a path of exile tech tree. I want to look at these. We got a harpoon. Through the power of Ardor, call forth a spear from the lands of Phalegia Magna. Summon an Ardor polearm. Summon an ethereal crossbow. Charging speed is vivace. Vivace? I'm not, I, I don't really know Italian, so I'm probably making a nice fool of myself. As you'd expect. Uh, just like this man. Can I get a jester mask? That'd be neat. I could uh, play the role then. Yeah, this game is, seems lovely. Um, it seems like a, a smaller Souls experience, and after coming out of Elden Ring, or still playing Elden Ring, that so this sounds lovely to me. I would love to continue strolling through this Italian countryside and experiencing what this world has to offer. But alas, I am stuck in the Elden Ring mines for now. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, I'm trying to like gesture, I, I can't even gesture in this game. If you did, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, folks.